Oh, were you expecting me to do something? Hey guys, it's Jordan Sparks. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have a lot to cover. Before we hop into this, my merch has arrived and I am feeling fancy. I absolutely am obsessed. I'm in love with it. I love it so much. I got one in purple and then I got myself one in light blue and then I also got myself a t-shirt in lime green. I will show you guys the other clothes in other videos if you want to stay tuned for that but if you guys want to shop the entire stay sparkly collection or stay sparkly stars just check out teespring.com slash stay sparkly or teespring.com slash stay dash sparkly dash stars okay so this first stuff is like going to be super light-hearted dance moms reporting but anyway first story is maddie ziegler gets mad and defends mackenzie so essentially there's this live stream going on and mackenzie's talking about this guy sebastian and then maddie is like oh that's the guy that was mean to you and then she spends like the next several minutes apologizing profusely because it was the wrong guy so i'll play you guys the clip sleep sebastian it's 4 30 yeah, you go I to sleep like him. You don't like Sebastian? No, I just don't know him, but I just saw that he was mean to you. So that's he was not mean to me. Oh. What are you talking about? Maybe that's a different person then. Sebastian? I don't know. Whoever the one was was your ex. No, 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 no. Not Sebastian. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. I thought you were someone else. I shouldn't. I just should keep my opinion to myself. What was that? I got I got really protective. What was that? I got really protective of you for a second. I'm sorry. What the heck? Was I just that? thought he was someone that was rude to you. That's why I got mad. He was not rude to me. Got it. Sebastian's sorry. Sebastian's like my big brother. What is wrong? Oh my god, with I'm you? really sorry. I, I apologize. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> this is really awkward. I'm really hard. <laughs> it's even on here. I'm just really protective, so I get mad, you know? He's on Wait, here. Wait, go to the top again? Go to the top? Go to the top. Guys, I, I never mean to be rude. It's just I instantly got in protective mode because <laughs> people have been so aggressively rude to Kenzie. And I just, I just, I just, something leashed. Wait, what's the word? Something came out where I was just like, protect Kenzie. Anyway, I'm, I'm leaving. I just love you and I just not. I love Sebastian. Oh, okay. <gasps> what? I'm gonna get hate. No, I'm gonna get hate. Why would you get hate? Good for you, cause she's just she's mama bear. She's literally mama bear. Um. <laughs> Maddie, you're just awkwardly sitting here. I feel bad. <laughs> Apologize so much to, to anyone I offended. Well, to commenting. I'm really I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry, but. I'm just sweating and I'm tired and I feel like we're in a simulation and I just don't know what's going on. <laughs> Someone said Maddie's about to reflect on what she did. Guys, I really forgive. I really forgive. He's oh, he's watching. I, I'm really sorry. Is he here? Yeah, he's what watching. What did he say? He didn't say anything, but I just saw him that he was on. <laughs> And I don't even know him. I should never make assumptions. I thought you were someone else because your last... It was something... It's not him. Okay, but you know what I'm talking about, right, Kenzie? It's yeah, someone else. It, wasn't, it was not him. Okay, that's really awkward. <laughs> I just got so nervous. Anyway, we need to stop talking about this because I'm literally sweating out of all of my crumbs. <laughs> Maddie all night. No, guys. You, I accidentally messed up. Did you see that? I just, I got protective. I got really protective. Can you not watch my live? Let her watch. I just thought that it was super funny. Maddie is honestly just so humble and it was just such a funny clip to see. So I wanted to share that with you guys. What did you guys think? I honestly have no idea who they were talking about. Maybe it was a different Sebastian, maybe it was somebody else with a similar name, but Mackenzie seems to know who Maddie was confusing this Sebastian person as, but I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys know the tea. The next lighthearted tea is apparently Melissa was yelling at Mackenzie because she was swearing on the live stream, so I'll roll that clip as well. I'm on, I'm on live. <laughs> She's yelling at me for swearing. 
Mom, mm -hmm. they literally all saw it. I don't care. Don't do it again. Okay. It's not even funny. Okay. Sorry. I'm sorry. We'll take it off. Okay. <laughs> I told you guys. I told you. Mom, Mom is right. Mom got mad at me for swearing in my college, and she you. came in my room and started yelling at me. <laughs> I just thought that that was super funny. I think that that proves that Melissa doesn't just let her kids run around and do whatever and that she does kind of keep like a strict household and I think that that's great. Next we're going to be talking about Tony Lopez because Tony Lopez is being cancelled and so I have an article here by The Insider and the title reads TikTok star Tony Lopez is being called out for his past sexist, racist, and homophobic tweets. So essentially Tony made a recent tweet about straight TikTok and the tweet says so for straight TikTok is it that you guys are annoyed by the dances or because they have a high following and support system? Is it an envy thing? I don't don't understand why people would hate individuals for having fun and dancing. So essentially a lot of people took offense to that tweet and as a result of that so many people were looking into his past actions and they found some racist and homophobic tweets and that's why those have come to light. So then there was a thread started on TikTok called the Exposing Tony Lopez thread and basically some older tweets came up saying things like TBH it annoys me when Asians try to act Mexican or black like chill please which is super xenophobic and racist and then another one saying are Latina women even worth it asking for a friend and another saying black girls are my weakness Oh, and Asian girl. Another one, he's calling somebody gay in a derogatory way. And basically, there's just a lot of old tweets coming up. And so he is being currently canceled on TikTok. Essentially, he's deleted that tweet. Tony's not really addressing anything on TikTok. He did make an apology over on Twitter for the old tweets. But his apology was kind of like one of those, I apologize if you were offended by my tweets from six years ago. And then fans were pointing out that some of those tweets were literally only a year ago. So I'm like, yikes. So his apology specifically said, just wanted to apologize for any old childish tweets that I made five to six years ago. If I offended anyone, I apologize deeply. It offends me reading those now as well. I know people are going to keep talking about it. Let me know what you guys think of that down in the comments below. It definitely sounds like it's one of those apologies that he's making to be like, can you guys please shut up about this? Like, I don't want to hear about it anymore and I'm going to apologize so that you guys stop talking about it. Especially by the end of that apology saying, I know people are going to keep talking about it. Yeah, especially with that attitude and that crappy of an apology, people are going to keep talking about it. Let me know what you guys think of that crappy apology down in the comments below. And let's get into the next story, which is Jeffree Star. And so Jeffree Star Cosmetics has actually responded to Jeffree Star being dropped by Morphe. And here's what they had to say. Hey, Star family, we are shocked and extremely saddened by the decision of our former retail partner, Morphe Brushes, on parting ways with our brand and Jeffree. Over the past five years, we've accomplished amazing things together and released iconic products. We are proud of everything we've accomplished with them. What's next? We have an incredible remainder of 2020 planned and are excited to share our new products with you and our partners around the world. We know our customers will continue to create, inspire, and push the boundaries of our art. Love you so much, Jeffree Star Cosmetics. The fact that he has the audacity to put out public statements via his company under the guise of like, it's just my company talking, like I'm still missing, but he still won't address anything on any social media platform and he's still technically in hiding. Just like, it speaks volumes for how he really feels about this situation. He doesn't care. He doesn't want to take accountability. He's just kind of waiting for things to blow over, in my opinion. They've since posted five more posts on Jeffree Star Cosmetics Instagram, but here's how the community has responded to that post. Okay, so we've got Cole Kerrigan saying Morphe wouldn't be half the brand they are now without Jeffree's collabs and products being sold on their website, but that's none of my business. You just keep kissing those peaches, Cole. And next we've got We're Beside You, as always, from Black Swallow Official. We've got Open Up a Jeffree Star Cosmetics Store. K 
Candace McNeil says, Am I the only one that thought Tati's video was complete BS? 40 minutes of her taking no accountability for her actions. Just her blaming Shane and Jeffrey and deflecting it all on them. I'm sorry, but Tati, you are a 40-year-old grown-ass woman and you made your own decisions. You made a video, you edited the video, and posted the video. You by yourself did that. This last video should not have been made either. Stop telling the world about your drama. There are real issues going on in the world that are much more important than your petty drama with your not-so-much friends. Morphe, big mistake. Over Tati. Shane, that is a completely different story for another day. Okay, so it sounds like this person is maybe defending Jeffrey but not defending Shane. Definitely not Team Tati. Next comment says, where my Jeffrey stands at, love always. I'm starting to think that as usual, they're probably policing the comments because there's not very many negative comments here. Everything seems to be in support of Jeffrey so far. Oh, here's one. There's literally only white people in the comments defending him face and then a bunch of clown emojis. Nah, Morphe got it right. It's the best thing they could have done. It's about time Jeffrey was knocked down a peg or two. He's gotten away with his BS way too long. See, that's kind of how I feel, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Somebody else saying Jeffrey should open up a store. Somebody else saying I'm absolutely baffled that there are so many people defending Jafar Starburst. <laughs> Um, somebody else saying, their loss, I mean, true Jeffree Star fans like myself, we're gonna keep supporting him like we've been doing since day one. Uh, somebody else says, I'm really disgusted by the comment section, we're talking about the same grown-ass man who almost ruined a 19-year-old's career. So, yeah, from the looks of it, the comments that are not in support of Jeffree Star seem to be pretty loud, but there's not very many of them. Somebody else says, sorry, but I won't support racist brands, buy from me as well. So that's how the community responded on Jeffrey's post. Let me know what you guys think of this down in the comments below. Do you think that Jeffrey should be addressing this on his main channel personally, or do you think that he should be hiding behind his cosmetics company still? Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. People have been speculating that Jeffrey Star is still an investor in Morphe and that he is commercially involved behind the scenes, but Morphe put out a statement saying, we can confirm that Jeffrey Star retains no ownership of Morphe, a Morphe representative said. He's not an investor. He's not co-owner. Our only relationship is through retail distribution of Jeffree Star Cosmetics and our 2019 Morphe X collaboration, which is set to no longer be carried by Morphe in the coming weeks. So that is their statement, and the public still is kind of iffy on whether they believe that Jeffree Star is actually not an investor or not, but I personally don't believe he is because I think that that would be illegal for him to be saying that he's not and for Morphe to be saying that he's not, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Next, actress Kelly Preston passed away after her two-year battle with breast cancer. This was John Travolta's wife. I'm kind of surprised I never heard anything about this until she passed away. I guess they were keeping this away from the media, but my condolences go out to the Prestons and the Travolta family. Next, there was rumors all over the internet this week, kind of a conspiracy that Howie Mandel had been had gone missing. Twitter and YouTube and TikTok and everything was saying that he was leaving clues in his most recent TikToks and pointing to SOS and they were pointing out all these numbers and everything, but Howie has went on Twitter and made this little video confirming that he is all right. I'm fine. I'm really fine. The next story is going to be about Kourtney Kardashian. I know I never talk about the Kardashians here on my channel, but Kourtney has confirmed that she has left Keeping Up With The Kardashians. There was a bunch of rumors speculating earlier in the spring, but she made a statement to Vogue in their most recent issue, and her statement read, I have been filming the show nonstop for 14 years. I was feeling unfulfilled and it became a toxic environment for me to continue to have it occupy as much of my life as it was, shares Kardashian. Privacy is something I have come to value and finding that balance of private moments with being on a reality show is hard. People have this misconception that I don't want to work, which isn't true. I am following my happiness and putting my energy into that which makes me happy. 
So honestly, I was talking about this the other day, and my impression was that Courtney just didn't want to work either. She seemed kind of entitled and kind of just like she wanted to live the image of what people think the Kardashians are, because I feel like the public seems to think that the Kardashians just sit around on their butt and just be filthy rich and famous, but they have to work so hard. Like, you can't have that kind of brand and that kind of image and be traveling all over the world for all of these different press junkets that they do and all of their brands and be lazy like it just that doesn't work you can't do that and have a reality show like you need to film like so many hours a day you just can't do that and so I feel like Courtney doesn't like the fact that she has to do all of this work but behind the scenes whether she's doing the reality show or not she's gonna have to do a lot of work if she wants to keep up being a Kardashian and keep up with that public image and still make money. Otherwise, she's just gonna have to retire. Unless she wants to become a social media influencer like the rest of us peasants, then I'd suggest that she probably get back on the show. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. The next story is about the breakup of Joey Graceffa and Daniel Prada. I thought that this was so sad, and then watching the video, I was literally heartbroken. Like, you can see Joey literally just being so emotional, like his heart is literally breaking in that video. It honestly struck me as a little bit weird because I've never seen a relationship end this way where they seem to be so loving of each other still and they have a really good friendship. Apparently they have been broken up for three months already, Joey said, but they've been still living together. And so I think that that would be such a challenge to live with your ex for three months after you've broken up. So I think that that's a really strong testament of how good their friendship is. But the way that they described their breakup was that they're having a conscious uncoupling. And I think I've heard this term before, but I've never seen it in action. But this is really what I guess this truly means, like for them to go on and live their separate lives and to move on to lives that are more suitable for them, but still love each other and support each other. And they're still going to be a big part of each other's lives, but they just know that they're not meant to be with each other in a relationship. But yeah, it was really heartbreaking. They were both crying. They both just showed so much love and compassion for each other. But you should go watch their video. It's over on Joey's channel. But that is all we have to talk about for today's video. If you like this video, make sure to give it a great big thumbs up. Again, if you want to shop my Stay Sparkly merch, make sure to check out the Teespring merchandise shelf below this video or go to www.teespring.com slash stay sparkly and check out the entire collection. There's so much there and I am so excited and it's so comfy and it's just like I'm obsessed. I've been waiting for this moment for so long and I'm super excited. Hope you guys are just as excited as I am. But yeah, that is it for this video. If you liked it, make sure to give this video a great big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you are brand new here. Turn on the bell notification so that you never miss another video. And as always, make sure to be weird, be wild, and stay sparkly. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.